Hey there, everyone. Today I've got a cool video for you. It's uh, prepping supplies, gear and stuff, right? It's always fun to talk about and show those types of things. Uh, today, what I did was I, a few years ago, I put together a video on my lights out kit, uh, stuff that I had put together in case of, uh, you know, a lights out situation, a blackout situation, uh, emergency power outage supplies, basically, uh, flashlights and stuff like that. Uh, recently, I was going through it, kind of, uh, you know, checking batteries and, and all of that stuff. And I decided that I wanted to change everything up. I wanted to, to fit in my closet uh, and put some different types of stuff in there. So what I did was did a, this video, which is kind of an update on my old lights out kit and the things I had in that one uh, compared to kind of the basic stuff I have in this one. Well, one thing I haven't finished on this yet, and I mentioned it in the video, is the 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 procedures binder. Uh, and I think that's super important because the point of this kit is not necessarily for, for you and I, but for the people in the family that aren't actual preppers, so to speak, uh, people that aren't going to know exactly what to do in those lights out type situations. So that's what this is for. I think it's really important to have those procedures binders in there, how to run the generator, like I said in the video, how to do all of these things with the stuff in there, what steps to take first in a power outage, uh, where's the, you know, the fuel shut off, where's the breaker box, all of those different things. Where are the fire extinguishers. Uh, all of those different things are important. Those, I'll probably do an update video in the future when I get those done. I just didn't want to wait a couple weeks until I got all of that done to do this video and show you a piece of paper. So uh, also important phone numbers is important as well. So uh, one last thing before we get into the video, I don't have my fancy microphone up there. So the audio isn't quite as crisp as this right here, but it's still a good video though. But at any rate, let's go ahead and dig into my lights out kit. All right, so this is my new and improved lights out kit, blackout kit, uh, emergency power, you know, whatever you want to call it kit. Uh, but I wanted to go through this and show you exactly what's in it. The last one I had a bucket, uh, just a regular storage bin, which worked fine and, and it's a lot cheaper than this toolbox that I went with. Uh, but I wanted something that looks a little, looked a little bit different than the, you know, the storage bins because I've got storage bins for a lot of stuff, extension cords knives tools i mean just a bunch of different things and this one's completely different so if somebody were to if the, if the power were to go out and somebody were looking for this uh, it'd be pretty easy to find it's different than all the rest but uh, at any rate let me go through go ahead and open this up and show you what's in it this is a pretty basic kit it doesn't have a lot of the you know all the some of the videos you watch have everything except for the kitchen sink included uh, this is basically just the, you know, if it's a short-term power outage, if it's something that maybe lasts overnight, a couple days, not necessarily a natural disaster or anything, uh, but it does, it will have the instructions and everything on what to do in case of different natural disasters. So uh, first I'll go through what's in this top part right here. And in this I've got a battery checker to, just to see, make sure your batteries are all fine. I've got an assortment of different batteries in here, 9 volt D batteries. Uh, I've got this package right here, which has got uh, a bunch of rechargeable batteries, a couple that aren't rechargeable, double A's, triple A's, just an assortment of everything that, that in this kit um, that would you be useful in this kit. So um, here I've got all the cords for all the different things like the radio, uh, the, the charger, I'll go through these in a second. Uh, but all the different cords that I would need for, or whoever is opening this up would need for all this different stuff. Uh, I've got the big flashlight right here, the main flashlight. Uh, I also in here have a, just an assortment of smaller, different little cheap Walmart flashlights uh, with the batteries that go in them. I don't keep the batteries in these. Um, they're not alkaline anymore, so they don't do the damage they used to, but it's, I guess it's just habit. Uh, I've also got a charger right here, and this is just a basic uh, double or triple A charger, uh, USB on the front. Uh, this is something that's not super super helpful, but it, it could be. Uh, but I've also got this charger, which is an XTAR charger, the XTAR VC4 charger. And the reason I like this is because the it hooks up to a, a, an outlet but it's got a USB, so it's got the USB port as well. That way I can take one of the solar panels that I have in here, one of the external batteries, say this battery right here. 
put the outlet from this, plug it into this USB port right here, and this battery power will transfer to any batteries that I put in here. So, uh, pretty cool little setup. Uh, again, this is a, a big external battery. I suggest a couple different types of external batteries in a lights out kit. Uh, charging cell phones, you know, lights, all sorts of different things. Those would be necessary for. Uh, in here, I've also got a solar crank radio. Uh, the solar on this uh, isn't isn't all that great, but it is kind of an emergency thing. The reason I like this is because it's got the hand crank function. Uh, it's got AM, FM, weather radio stations, uh, shortwave radio, which, uh, you know, in my area, not all that great. Need a better antenna. But this is something important to have. If the power's out, uh, maybe, you know, the phones are out as well. They need either just entertainment or they need information about what's going on in the area. Uh, also, I have this, this Now Light, which I recently reviewed a while ago. And the reason I like this is it's got different settings, different power modes, uh, six different modes. But it's also, it's got, you can plug it into a wall. Uh, it's got a solar panel, uh, which is not in here. Um, but it's got a solar panel, you can plug it into the wall. Or it's got this hand crank option right here, which is emergency use only. Uh, you know, basically, if all else fails, um, you can use this. And with a little bit of manpower, you can crank it up to get enough light. But I do like this, and that's why I keep this in here. Another reason for all of this stuff, like, like with these headlamps. I've got uh, three different headlamps in here. Maybe it's too much. Headlamps, lighter, uh, flashlights, lighters, all sorts of different things. Maybe it's too much, but this is also a place that... I know where this stuff is. It's not going to get lost. It's not going to get used and put somewhere. So if I've got the room to put it in here, might as well is kind of my, my thought. And these are my favorite headlamps. Um, so that's why I put these in here. So I know exactly where they are. They don't get used and, you know, put out in the barn or wherever. Uh, I've also got this headlamp, which is my, I, I think I've had this one for like 10 years. And I think I paid like $15 on eBay for this thing. Uh, it's super powerful. It's got a battery pack in the back, so it goes on your head. Really cheap. I'm sure you can find these still. Uh, but this one has lasted me forever, and it still works, and it's still the best one, uh, the one I reach for uh, when I'm doing stuff outside and I need a headlamp, you know, maybe out with the animals or stuff like that. So I really like this one. This is like my old school favorite. I'll probably, uh, probably cry when this one finally dies on me, and I'm surprised it hasn't yet. Uh, so that's that. Also in here, uh, we've got the wood burning or the yeah the wood burning stove. So we've got a lighter. Um, I've also got matches in here uh, for the stove. Uh, the reason I like to keep this stuff in the packages, kind of like the batteries and all that. Uh, these lighters down here, um, not the greatest lighters. Probably should get Bic lighters, but they work. Uh, but I like to keep this stuff in the packaging because I know if it's in the packaging, it hasn't been used. So I'm not going to reach in here and grab uh, this lighter right here. Uh, you can check the, the fuel level right there, but I'm not going to reach in there and it's going to have two or three matches or the lighter is going to be half dead. So I know they're, they're going to work. Uh, so that's those two. Again, like I said, I've got a couple different solar panels in here, uh, mainly uh, just so I don't, so I know where they are. I've got this Goal Zero right here, which has also got the battery uh, that can charge cell phones and stuff like that. If, if, you know, the power goes out and they need to be able to charge uh, any of those smaller devices. I've got this solar panel, which is 24 watts compared to, I think this one is five. So not so much there, but this one um, is really good if you need to recharge this. And this is 24,000 milliamp hours, this battery pack right here. Uh, so it's got a lot of juice in it. And this one at 24 watts will actually do a better job at filling this or, you know, somewhat filling this, than this little Goal Zero one would do. This Goal Zero is perfect for this little battery, though. In a day, day and a half, you can refill this battery. Uh, also in here, uh, a light source along with the Now Light. I've also got this Vaunt Lantern, um, which is a uh, pretty lightweight, pretty decent little lantern. Just something to get, uh, you know, stuff, being able to see around, see, see your environment, whatever, if it, if it happens to be nighttime. Uh, one more option I have as far as light and all that, and I think this is one of the biggest ones, is I have an extension cord, 50 foot extension cord. Uh, but I also have the power inverter, so if they do need to plug in lamps, they need to get something, uh, maybe a space heater, 
something like that. We've got this power inverter that will run that. You just plug this into the car. I've got a video on how to use a power inverter. Uh, this is an old one. This is a modified sine wave. Uh, I am, I do, uh, I am going to order a pure sine wave inverter. The big difference, I mean, there's a couple of differences. The, the two big differences are this is less efficient than a pure sine wave. And a pure sine wave, basically, a uh, good rule of thumb is if anything has a motor, it's going to need pure sine wave. Uh, so this will work for lights and computers and stuff like that. But a pure sine wave inverter, they're you know, almost double the price sometimes. But they're much better, much more efficient, and they're going to be able to run anything that you can think of. Again, price is the biggest factor with one of these. And a modified sine wave in a power outage, uh, something like that, is going to be just fine. If you need to run your refrigerator, you need to crank up the, you know, how many, this is only 800 watts. That wouldn't be enough for a refrigerator, uh, but this will be enough for, you know, laptops, uh, maybe some entertainment stuff, lights around the house, stuff like that. But if you're using this, you're also using the fuel in, the, in your car. So with this, the one thing that I don't have right now because I'm working on it is a, a list of instructions. For anybody that would need to use this, they need to know where the generator is, where the fuel storage is, how to run that generator, how to hook up this, this inverter uh, the correct way without you know, putting the negative on the positive and, and ruining the battery. Uh, I've also got a, a, a DIY solar generator outside, which has got a 100 milliamp hour battery. Uh, that they could plug an extension cord into uh, and not have to use this, but that's only 100 milliamp hours. Uh, so just, I mean, just a good idea. I think it's one of the most important kits, especially if you have children, people in your house that aren't, you know, into preparedness like you are. Maybe they're, you know, just kind of have this passing interest. If you're gone, the power goes out, regardless whether it's a natural disaster or just a power outage in the middle of the night or after dark. Uh, if they can go grab this, it's got everything that they'll need. You put the instructions in it, um, how to use all the different things, what to do, where the, the gas main turns off, how to turn the breaker box off, all the different things. You know, Put that list of important numbers and stuff like that. They can grab this one kit, they know where everything is, and they can get, have all the tools that they would need to at least get started in some sort of situation. Listen on the radio, figure out what's going on, why this is happening. Is it just a power outage? Is it something bigger? So, uh, again, just one of the, I think, one of the most important kits to have along with like a bug out bag. Uh, because this is, in most, almost all disaster scenarios, or a lot of them anyway, you're talking about some sort of grid down event, some sort of power outage, uh, natural disasters especially. Um, this would be super help, super helpful. Plus, from a perspective like Lisa and I, uh, that already kind of understand all of this stuff, this is just, I know exactly where all this stuff is, so it doesn't get moved around the house. How many times have you gone and looked for a flashlight and you can't figure out what, where one is? Uh, another reason I like this toolbox, I, I changed from the toolbox, or from the, the storage bin to the toolbox, is because this fits in my closet nice and neatly, goes right right on the bottom uh, fits in there and it doesn't take up a lot of space as far as width anyway uh, so it fits in there really good I can grab it by the handle pull it out nice and easy uh, it's just super convenient but again what you put it in is less important than how you or, or what's in it itself I put these this pieces of orange duct tape on it as well to kind of separate it from all the other stuff the toolboxes and all that I'll probably write blackout kit or lights out kit on it somewhere down here that way people know it's got it on the side as well. Uh, it's nice and it's you know what it is. Uh, one last thing on this, uh, I would suggest also once you put this together, something like this together, make sure you teach and you train uh, because that way they'll know what to expect, what's in it. Uh, you know, I was talking about the important documents and, and instructions and all of that stuff. That's almost like a lesson plan where you can go through that and say, okay, this is what you do here, this is what you do here. That way, if they ever do have to pull this out, they know what to expect. They know what uh, what this is going to do for them and what it's not. So, all right. So that's it for my lights out kit. As you can see, it's 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 just got the the basic stuff in there. That stuff that would be strictly for a power outage. Uh, there's still a couple things I need to do, like I mentioned with the emergency documents. Uh, I need to label it a little bit so people can see. Label it blackout kit, uh, lights out kit, whatever I decide to do. 
Um, that way it's it's more visible. Uh, but a really cool kit. And just like all kits in preparedness, all the things we do, this is going to be constantly changing and growing over time. So I might get some new stuff and replace some old stuff. I might think about something uh, that I just want to put in there. Uh, like I said in the video, this is not necessarily a catch-all but it is that place where you can put things and you know exactly where they're going to be. That's one of the problems I ran into with my old lights out kit is that I went in there to, uh, you know, kind of reassess what I had in there and half the stuff was gone. Some of the batteries are gone. Some of the batteries had lost some of their juice and, uh, you know, stuff like that. So uh, it's good to check these every once in a while. There's not a lot of stuff that'll expire in them, but you do have the batteries and stuff like that. And you just want to give it a look over and make sure everything that's supposed to be there is still there and, and the stuff that's in there is still going to work. But uh, with that, if you guys have any, any thoughts or ideas about what else you would put in there or if you've got one of your own, uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, other than that, we will talk to you all later.